Hello! Today on Paper Power, we're going to be looking at how to make cardboard gears. My name's Mr. Sherman, and I'm part of the Modern Learning Resource Team at the Peel District School Board. When you add teeth to a wheel and fix it to an axle, you get a simple machine called a gear. The teeth allow gears to fit or mesh together to transmit motion or force as they turn. Gears are used in all kinds of machines, and it's going to be the focus of today's build. To make your own gear, you'll need a pencil, ruler, safe and sturdy cutting tool, regular paper, a cylinder, various sizes and thicknesses of cardboard, as well as something to fix your gear to an object, like a wooden dowel or brass fastener. As a safe maker, always consider wearing safety gloves and eye protection. To start making your gear, trace a circle using the cylinder on your standard piece of paper. Use your sturdy and safe cutting tool to cut out the circle. Now fold the circle in half. Fold it again. And again. And one last time. If that went a little quick for you, pause the video, go back, just to make sure you got the folds correct. Keeping your paper folded together, find the center of the larger end and mark it off using the pencil as shown. With the paper still folded, cut out the portion you marked off. Be patient and precise for best results. As you unfold the paper, you'll find you have a stencil of a gear with evenly dispersed teeth. Use the stencil to trace out at least two gear shapes on the cardboard of your choice. And here's a tip. Using thicker cardboard will give you more choices for gear systems later on in the process However, it will be more difficult to cut out. Think safety as you use precision and patience to cut out your gear shapes with your safe and sturdy cutting tool. You may even want to get a helper. Take extra care when cutting out the teeth on your gear. It's an important part. Using a pencil and ruler, make several lines across your gear so that you can find the center. Use your pencil to poke a hole in the center of each gear. On a second piece of cardboard, or foam board, or larger box, position your gear and use your pencil again to make another hole straight through the center of the gear and through the second piece of cardboard or surface. Secure your gear to the second surface by using a brass fastener or wooden dowel. If you don't have either of those, you can even consider using your pencil. Once you've secured both gears to your second surface so they combine to create a gear system, use your safe and secure cutting tool to trim the teeth so that they mesh well together. Consider removing one of the gears from the second surface in order to trim the teeth with more precision. If your gear is part of a larger machine, consider marking how a user would operate the gear. Keep testing and modifying the mechanics of your gear system until it's perfect. Now that you know how to create your own cardboard gears, try creating more in different sizes, shapes, and incorporating them in new and different systems. We can't wait to see what you're going to create. Thanks for listening.